Yes, sir, I will. But before we do that, if you don't mind, I make just a statement or two. Uh, public notice has been given in the most expedient way possible under the circumstances for an emergency teleconference meeting of the Tennessee Fish and Wildlife Commission. This meeting has been called to address one specific topic, that being the impact of floodwaters on the existing deer season, and the only business which can be conducted is for that one purpose. The roll call of those commissioners in attendance is as follows. Chad Baker. Not present. Jim Bledsoe. Here. Harold Cannon. Here. Jeff Cook. Here. Bill Cox. Here. Kurt Holbert. Here. Connie King. Here. Jeff McMillan. Here. Jim Ripley. Here. Bill Swan. Here. Trey Teague. Here. David Watson. Here. Jamie Woodson. Not present. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum. And I will tell you All that right. if you decide, uh, if, if I can well, make like, like the Director Carter said, this is an emergency conference call to address the flooding in northwest Tennessee. Uh, um, and we're going to pertain <coughs> to that subject and that subject only. Uh, Director, I'll, I'll turn it over to you and let uh, you make the agency recommendation uh, for what uh, for the circumstances that we're in okay mr. chairman let me make one or two other little statements if you decide to take some action today it will be through proclamation 1610 which is put together for an emergency action by the Commission relating to this subject uh, we do have a proposal of what the agency would recommend and I would also tell you that we sent out emails early this morning and contacted through social media and others to make replies to the agency if they had comments and whenever you think that that's appropriate we can give you a summary of what feedback we've gotten so far but proclamation 1610 also comes with some authority to take the action that you're taking today that is if you decide to say some early close the season or make other changes i want to ask chris richardson real quickly to to tell you what that authority is Mr. Chairman, the Commission has granted the authority uh, in TCA 70-4-107, uh, sub subsection C3 says that during emergency conditions, seasons, and this would be the Commission's authority, seasons may be closed, reopened, or extended summarily. Uh, based on the flooding conditions in the area, it is the agency's recommendation that all areas west of Highway 78 from the Kentucky State Line to the Obion River Bridge and west of the Obion River from the Highway 78 Bridge to the Mississippi River shall be closed to deer hunting on January 9th and 10th, 2016. We did, okay. we did put that out in the, in the uh, media release this morning. We have had some comments on Facebook, but we've had none that have been directed to the website that we gave for public comments. Email address, right. Okay. Uh, well, we've heard the recommendation from the uh, from the agency. Uh, uh, would would I hear a motion to that uh, recommendation? From the so, so, I would. I'd like to state the motion, uh, Chip McMillan. Can can Chris, can you tell me again? It was west of Highway 78 from the Kentucky line of the Obion River, and what was the rest of it? and west of the Obion River from the Highway 78 bridge to the Mississippi River. So, it's, so west of Highway 78 from the Kentucky line to the Obion River and west of the Obion River to the Mississippi River. Correct. Okay. 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 So is that how you want the motion, uh, Chairman Lipso? Uh That sounds good. And that, that is closing basically parts of, uh, of uh, Dyer County and Lake County. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. There is a small section of Obine in that. Really small. small. Very small section of Obine. Do we need to state the counties or not? Or just uh, the geographical barriers? That, 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 that. No, I think the description that I gave you, uh, just Chairman just McMillan, is, is sufficient uh, to in the form of a motion. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chairman Bledsoe, uh, 
Mr. Chairman, I'd like to propose uh, a motion to close uh, the hunting season, deer hunting season, the ninth and tenth of January 2016, west of Highway 78 in the Kentucky line to the Obama River and west of the Mississippi and west of the Obama River to the Mississippi River in Dyer Lake and Obama County. I'll no. that. Just, okay. just to now clarify, motion, motion made by Chairman McMillan, seconded by Trey Teague, I think. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, hold this down. Yes, sir. Um, if I could respectfully ask, just as a matter of record, and anybody that is a regional officer, the reason for this was explained in an informational session last, an informational session only last night. <coughs> we asked Director Carter to summarize why we're getting this on behalf of the resource. Yes, sir. The in the comments that we had from individual commissioners and from the conversations we've had about why action may be necessary was that there were two primary different reasons. One was the safety of the people participating in the hunt, that being crowded together in those areas where lots of hunters would be in small areas, and also because of flooded conditions of those people who would be in boats and during flooded conditions trying to get to those areas where deer may be stranded. The other was the resource, and the resource being that a lot of deer are in a very stressed condition. They're in, on high ground in lots of places and, and concentrated in numbers, and it would be possible to take an unusually high number of deer from those small areas and could possibly impact local populations. And further, those of the deer that are on those islands or on high ground, if they are moved off of those areas, would be subjected to even further stress and also more hypothermic conditions as they get back into the cold water and try to get back into the areas they're in. They're in a shortened food supply because of the restricted area they're in and what little is left. So it was from the public safety and from resource side that the consideration was to have this meeting today to discuss what action might be necessary. Okay, thank you, Director Carter. Uh, any other discussion from the commission? This is Commissioner King. Did you have a? Didn't you say there was some feedback from the public? Was it positive? There, there's been some on the Facebook page, Commissioner King, that's been both positive and supportive of closure. Um, and there's also been a few comments relative to, uh, you know, that are negative or in, in opposition to it. But, but there's really no way at this at this point to to make any determination of, of the public sentiment based on the few comments that we've gotten. Sure, thanks. Okay. Is there any public at any of the regional offices to make a comment or a discussion? If you don't mind, Mr. Chairman, let me go through the roll real quickly. Does Region 1 have anybody in their office? None in uh, Region 3. None in Region 2. Region There's 3? Uh, one media person in Region 1. Is there any in Mr. Region 1? Yes, sir. I believe we've had someone else join the call. Okay. Didn't know if there was another commissioner that had joined. Uh, I think the two commissioners that were not present were, they're both out of the country right now. Okay, okay, thank you. There's nobody okay. in Region 4. Yes. Okay. Apparently, Mr. Uh, Chairman, there's no public wanting to make a statement. Okay, no public statement, so... Uh, Director Carter, would you uh, do a roll call vote on this? Yes, sir. This is an action on Proclamation 1610. Chad Baker? Jim Bledsoe? Aye. Harold Cannon? Aye. Jeff Cook? Aye. Bill Cox? Aye. Kurt Holbert? Aye. Connie King? Aye. Jeff McMillan? Aye. Jim Ripley? Aye. Bill Swan? Aye. Trey Teague? Aye. David Watson? Aye. Jamie Woodson? We have 11 in favor and 2 abstaining. Thank you, Director Carter. Uh, well, unlike Proclamation 1610, the emergency action uh, has passed the commission. Uh, and my personal comment, I, I think we're doing the right thing here. That's, uh, uh, I mean, it, 
it's the ethical and correct thing to do to protect the the, the people participating in the hunt and the the resources that are there. So uh, I, I think we've done a done a good job. We'll we'll probably catch some flack on it, but I'm I'm sure it will be worth it. You know. But, and I thank everybody. Uh, anybody got anything else? I would just say, Mr. Chairman, that we immediately after this meeting will put the word out to the, the, all the media outlets that we have, notifying the public and our own personnel. Thank you very much, Director. Uh, uh, sorry we uh, had to do this in a rush job. I'm hoping that we'll have some language brought forth at the January meeting that might get us out of this situation the next time. So uh, hopefully we can work work towards that so uh if, if nothing further uh thank everybody for taking time out of their day and uh this meeting is adjourned thank you thank you all thank you, thank you.